The Astros won 107 games. The Nationals at one point were 12 games under 500 before they turned their season around. But Alex with that Houston's a big favorite. I mean a big favorite according to Vegas. You agree with that. I, I don't agree with the big favorite part. I do agree they're a slight favorite. And the reason why they're a slight favorite is because they did not have to play game seven. They won game six against the Yankees. Therefore, saving Garrett Cole, who's now available for game one, four, and seven. But when you look at these two teams, they mirror each other. They have great pitching, starting pitching. They have power. They have defense. And this is going to be a tremendous matchup. We also know that baseball is so unpredictable. And going as an underdog in a World Series, a lot of time, it's a, it's a fact. It's, 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 it gives you the opportunity to win. And the National had this deep study rotation that to me when you go on a seven game series is very important because you can locate a starting pitcher in the bullpen coming out of the bullpen and as a as a starter i mean you got so many choices frank i think they should be big favorites after i think about it you know they won this thing in 2017 with the same four players they won 107 games this year the addition of garrett cole and zach greinke they're a much better ball club in 2019 that's why they're a the heavy favorite but we don't play this game on paper. This national team is gritty. You don't? They came together this year as a team at the losing superstar Bryce Harper. So watching this team, anything can happen in a seven-game series. But, yeah, Vegas got it right. Houston should be the bad favorite. You always say Vegas has it right. But that's <laughs> it. The Nationals have been interesting, Kevin, since before May 23rd, they were awful. After May 23rd, they're probably the best team in baseball with the Astros. But what's interesting, fellas, is the dynamic in that clubhouse. I've lived it. I've been there. The pressure that has been decreased, has been removed from that clubhouse with the leaving of Bryce Harper is enormous. And this team, expectations went down, performance went up, and for the first time since 1933, a Washington-based team is in the well, World Series. I think you have a great point. They, you said they are the best two teams you know, since that time. The Nationals were 12 games under 500. Davey Martinez, there reports about him getting fired and losing his job. Since that time, they've been absolutely incredible. And you talked about the underdog role, Poppy. This is a team that never won a playoff series. So it's almost like when they finally broke, broke through and won that wild card game, they just they played free. You have to believe, uh, Kevin, that uh, during the regular season, there's so many things that you, on the road, you try to fix. And the National did that the second half. Their starting rotation got together because they know how good they are. Their offense, I mean, command by Soto and Rondon, I mean, you know that the offense goes depend on how they go. And these guys, second half of the season, they have been so hot. And, and, and a salute to, to, to Mike Rizzo, who got a lot of heat with Bryce leaving. Why don't you fire Dave Martinez? Why don't you do this? He stuck to his guns. And Mike Rizzo, good for him, got his team to the World Series, the general manager of the Nationals. Yeah, and so we'll see how they react. First time here for this team in the World Series. And the Astros, as we said, they just won it two years ago. A lot of same characters on their team.